The ribs that won? American Barbecue Showdown. Oh! Welcome back to another week of The Fogo Life. As always, I'm your host, Captain Ron. We have a super special guest with us today, star of television and movies and everything, <laughs> Miss Tina Cannon. Hi, Tina. How's it going, Ron? It's doing great. We're so happy that you're here. How are yeah. you doing today? You're having if, a good day? If I was any better, you couldn't stand next to me. Ooh, that, oh, that's pretty strong. That's pretty <laughs> strong. I can feel the hour coming yes, off. Awesome. Right. So, so if you don't know, Tina, is a, she's a world championship barbecue. She's won world food championships. She has won... Uh, Netflix's Barbecue Showdown. She just participated in the Food Network Barbecue. She's all over the place. She's an unbelievable barbecue chef. And she is here to show us today one of her signature recipes. How cool is that? Yeah. Can yeah. I do something? You can. I'm going to make you an honorary pearly girl. <gasps> an honorary pearly girl. So she's known as pearly girl. So today I get to be an honorary pearly yes. girl? No. I might even let you keep these if you're sweet. I feel like bequeathed upon. I feel, I feel like the queen just anointed me. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's I'm a get paley man. All right. Yeah. So one thing that really stood out for me when I was watching the show mm -hmm. was how the judges were so amazed by the way you did the beef plate ribs, but you did something a little bit different with them that's not normally, and it kind of really blew them away. Everybody was kind of going, mm, I don't know about that. Then when they tasted them, they went, oh, I know about that. You know. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what you did and what, how, what's your secret here to these well, ribs. Well, it's a lot simpler than you think. First, I trimmed the fat off the plate ribs where a lot of people leave these on, and it is so simple. I rubbed them down with a base like a paste base it's like a of, bouillon base yeah bouillon okay. base there's several available in the grocery store and this is the one i have now um i think we have miners brand on the show rub down a thin coat on all of it kosher salt very coarse black pepper and my seasoning the magic the magic now on the show i had to whip it up I, you know mix it up but this is what uh, I used, and that's what makes the They difference. called it Herbs de Provence yeah, on there, because it's really did. similar. And I got news to you. This stuff mm -hmm. right here is awesome. I know Tina it has, mm -hmm. it smells awesome. I've used it on a bunch of stuff. I made spaghetti sauce last week. I told I was telling you that yeah. I made spaghetti sauce with it. It was phenomenal. So mm -hmm. the, the, the seasoning is just fantastic. All right, Miss Pearly Girl, so we're all seasoned up. Now, right. I did notice you paid like particular attention to the edges and the tops and the bottom and all like that. I mean, I always try and get on there. You really paid attention to yeah. it, so that's pretty cool. Well, on the show, you didn't know which piece was going to which judge. So, uh, and if you saw, one of the judges was extremely particular. So I wanted to make sure if they got that bite versus that bite, it was equally seasoned. Easy for you to say. A little bit. It's a little All right. So, all right. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So we got yep. the edges, we got the tops, the bottoms, everything. everything. So, what's next? I want you to light a fire and earn those pearls. Get some charcoal going that's and burn right. the pearls. All right. Get the fogo on. Let's grab it. She had oak and hickory on the show. We don't have that here, but we're going to use our bourbon barrel blocks. We're going to use four of them. We want a nice, good coating of smoke. Now, have you smelled these things before? Smell this. That's a party in a bag. <laughs> That's a party in a bag, isn't it? They're awesome, and they give us a nice, sweet mm. flavor. So I just explained on the show, you used, post, uh, you used oak and, and hickory. Hick yep, we don't have that here today, so we're going to use these instead. But we're going to be going indirect, so we're going to put our deflector in here. Let this come to temperature and we are ready to put our ribs on. All right, so we got our smoke going, we got our eggs all heated up. One last thing to do, we want to monitor our temperatures, right? Right. So we got our meter plus, we're going to stick this in here. I like these because they're wireless, it's kind of right. really nice, you know? So. I sure wish we had those on the show. I'll bet, yeah. So how'd you do it? You didn't really have a thermometer on there, huh? By touch. <laughs> By touch. That's called professional, folks. That's professional. <laughs> all right, Miss Tina, we are ready to put our meat on the grill here. We're ready all for right. insertion. So. You want to do the honors? Yes. Okay, you open her up. That smoke is rolling beautiful. Nice blue smoke. Yes. Might we add here? Bye bye. All right, Tina, so we've been burning here at 250 degrees. Yes. Okay, it's right at three hours, and we are at like 173 degrees. So it is time to wrap. So we're going to use some butcher paper. No, no. No? No. We're we not going to wrap? Yes, we're going to wrap, but we're going to use foil. We're gonna use foil. That's what I had on the show. Well, then that's what we're using. All right. You happen to have any foil with you? I carry it everywhere I go. How convenient. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use foil to wrap these. Yeah. So I'll now, grab the ribs, you grab the foil. All right, so what I usually do is I pull it out way longer than I need to. Okay. All right, and then I just fold it in half. And okay. then I fold the shiny side in. Okay. Because this side is nonstick. Ah, okay. 
cool. You cool, know, cool. you have to worry when you compete about appearance. Hey, the little things yeah. matter. I know that for sure. That's what I understand. All right, Miss Tina, we're all here ready to wrap. So we're just going to wrap these things up now. Or what do we got now? No. No, I didn't yeah. think it was that simple. <laughs> we have a couple more ingredients. A we couple more ingredients. Couple okay, more. good. A splash of red wine, mm -hmm. a splash of some beef broth, and a little more of my seasoning. All right. I'll wrap them tight. Cool, cool. Thank you. So we got a little while left to go while that meat's still smoking on there. So the wrap was kind of cool. I mean, we, we pulled out all the surprises with the foil. Yeah. All right, that's cool. So I'm excited because I've always wondered, you know, I wanted to see it. after watching the show, I said, yeah. I want to try those ribs. I never knew exactly how you did it. So I'm, I'm glad we're doing this today. So how much longer do you think we have left uh, after the wrap? I would say maybe an hour. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. One thing about the show is we had a time clicking. Okay. And at home I would cook them more by a certain time or temperature there. I just thought we just hope and a prayer that would be done. Sure. Worked out. Sure, sure. So. so I know you said on the show you cook mostly by touch. We have the thermometer in there right. now. So we're gonna do the same thing. Go to probably somewhere around the 203 area, something like that, I would I, imagine. I would probably say so. But you know, I really don't always cook by temperature. Okay. I mainly cook by feel. Okay. And I wrap by color. Let's hear your wrap. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't wrap. So you wrap, by, you wrap by color then? Yeah. Okay, um, cool. So like when we wrapped it, that looked right to you. I mean, yeah. I could tell it had a beautiful bark. You know, you could tell it had nice smoke on yeah. it. So. And a nice crust. Yep. Did you know it had got a good crust on it from that pepper and my seasoning. Yep. Love it, love it. And I love the smell of that seasoning. That's just, that's just awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, I'm so proud that I, that I, uh, Earned my pearls today. Yeah. So oh, far. you got more to do. I, got, I know I got more to do. We're not we're not through yet, but I'm just a uh, you know I'm just I'm just proud pearly man. Pearly man. I'm a pearly man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Tina, we are there. Our ribs are at like 200 degrees, but they are super tender. Yes. So we're gonna pull them off. I know they say 203, but we're going 200 because they are just. I mean, this is going in and out like there's no That's pressure what whatsoever. We need, so though. we're gonna pull these babies off of here. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rest these babies, okay? Yes. So I'm gonna get my cane bro, we're gonna put them in there for about, well, probably at least an hour or so. All right, we're gonna rest them, slice them, and we're gonna cut it and see if these are really as good as they said they were on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I now, think that, I think on Netflix, be. I didn't have the time to rest. Well, I understand. Okay, so maybe we should just rest them for a little while then. Did you rest them at all? No. No? Pretty much when I was preparing everything else, that was its rest time. Right. I would say maybe 10 minutes. You know what? Let's skip the rest then. I want to do exactly what you did. So we're going to try them right now. Let's unwrap them. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my God. They smell good. All right, Tina, who wants to do the honors? You want me to do it? I'll do? let you. You're going to let me do Earn it? Those All right. Pearls, All right. All right. So let's see what we got here. Right between the bones. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, Ooh. they're pretty tender. The bone fell out. Ooh. Hot. Yeah. Well, Tina, these look amazing. They Absolutely. Think? And they smell amazing. So we cut them up. The one thing I'm surprised, we put a ton of smoke on them. We didn't get a smoke ring. We put them in coal. I don't, I don't get it. But um, I think that what we should do here is Give ourselves another little taste here. What do you think? So the see pearly it, boy. See if it's really pearly as good man. as they say. The pearly man. Shut up. Oh my God. Oh. I can see why those won. Of course, you know, as always, Thursday afternoon in South Florida, it's pouring down rain. Unbelievable. Tina, the ribs, the, the peppery taste. The, the flavors from that seasoning of yours, absolutely unbelievable. Really. Thank they're you. different They're different than my normal beef ribs. Normally it's salt and pepper. That's all I put mm. on them. I'll tell you what, I like that beef base too. I think that might make that makes a difference. Wow. Just wow. I can I can see why you I can see why this won you that show. Or at least helped you to win that show yeah. anyway. So um, what what else you got to say? Anything you like to I add about them or anything? I wanna eat this last bite. <laughs> Mm. Too bad you don't like it yourself, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. No, I do. Mm. I know, I know you do, I know. Mama told me not to talk with my mouth full. I got you. <laughs> I never listen. I talk with my mouth full every week and I get comments about it, right, everybody? <laughs> so, um, hey, you know, as always, if you saw any of the products that we used in this video and you want to reach them, there's a link down below. Hit up Tina's website, okay? We got the link down below, tinacannoncooks.com. Um, hit her up. We're going to have that rub available. It's also a link down, down the uh, description. 
And I want to thank you so much, Tina, for coming out and cooking this with us. Come here, you got a little schmutz on your face I there, know. all right? No, I really want to thank you so much for coming out and cooking this. This is it's an honor for me to cook with you, and I'm just so glad you came out and showed us this absolutely awesome recipe. I'm glad you had me. No doubt, no doubt. So, all right, everybody, listen, remember, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. How did Tina do on Netflix? I know you watched it. Anyway, thanks so much, everybody. Remember to get out and grill, and we'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life.